Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I would like to do a video messages from the dead or a deceased loved one. So it depends who will come in a reading. It can be just messages from the other side of the other world or someone who you know who passed away to the underworld. So I'm going to have three options today and this is the deck that I'm going to use and now let's begin also I wanted to say that this is an energetic reading and if you like the reading if it's resonating with you please like the video so there will be energetic exchange between both of us because I'm giving you the reading for free and if you like it so I will highly appreciate if you could like the video so let's begin today we are going to have three options we are at the beginning of a new moon today it's a dark moon right now but it will change soon and i just had the feeling to do this video to get messages from the dead already we have card of the dead So I'm going to give you three options. Someone is excited, someone wants to talk, there is a lot of energy. I'm also feeling a bit low energy right now. This is why this is a very suitable reading, because I can pick up this low vibration at the moment. Because when I'm very energetic and happy, it will not be the same reading, it will not be the same energy. So now I'm feeling really low. So I'm just uh, connecting with this low energy instead of it consuming me. I want to transmute it to something positive. So three options, one, two, three. Let's see, messages from the dead. To everyone who is watching this video, number one, number two, number three. So of course, as always, I'm starting with number one. I want to see what is the message from the dead to number one. Let's see the message. So we have two cards that fell. Let's open this. Let's see the message for number one. Okay, I will start. So here we have the Wheel of Fortune. And also we have here a woman that is coming to the reading. This is a female figure. She's someone who is from your family. It's a bloodline person, someone from your bloodline. It can be a grandmother, a mother, or of course a very old ancestor. It does not have to be a grandmother. It is a female figure that is coming to this reading. Wow, and she's um, she really protecting you and working behalf of you. And we also have the star. What a beautiful message, number one. So first of all, this is from Destiny. I guess you had to click on this video and choose number one because this is from Destiny. You have the Wheel of Fortune. It means that this situation is destined. It's something that you need to watch, you need to see this. And maybe the message of this deceased, deceased person is to tell you that they are around you in a positive way. They're protecting you and you can see signs of stars, of something flickering, of something that is shiny and beautiful, something that is 
like you see I don't know why it's coming to me if you're looking at a jewelry and it's shining and sparkly so it's like it's a sign that your ancestors are here for you are protecting you and guiding you especially this female woman this is very interesting so she's also navigating you and helping you especially in times of crisis in your life she's not coming you know just um, with no reason this person is helping you and guiding you in in uh, times of crisis when you when you stop believing in yourself when you think that there is no further progress in your life or you are depressed or down this person is coming into your life and guiding you and navigating you to the correct path very very interesting there is there is a connection between you and that woman let's see what she wants to tell you let's see what this person wants to tell you number one let's see what this female wants to tell you let's see what she wants to tell you let's see seven and seven we have seven and seven it's like a comp completion of something um, so we have the seven of coins and we have also the seven of cups and we also have the ace of cups so this person that is coming into the reading this deceased loved one or someone from your ancestors she's telling that you worked so hard on something in your life on some project and you have so many accomplishments but it's like you do not see them because the road is so dark you see there is a lot of trees here also it is saying that your ancestors are very accomplished people you have the gift because of your ancestors because they are very accomplished and they knew how to uh, achieve things in life and this is also something that you have you also have those qualities in you and trees represent ancestry so here they are with all of this talent and with all of those achievements and it's like in your situation you see everything in a dark way and you are not paying attention to all of your achievements it's like you're not I don't know why it's coming to me but it's like you do not see how great you are you do not see how talented you are the seven of cups as well uh, for me it's a card of uniqueness of being not like everyone else someone who is very creative someone who is unique a genius mind and it's like maybe you worked on some projects a lot of years a lot of time and you don't see the fruits right away and it's like dark in your vision and you are maybe angry or or feeling dissatisfaction but this person is telling you that new beginning is on the horizon maybe you were occupied and also worried about finances and it, she's telling to you that you're going to have a new beginning in finances some project that you are thinking about or thinking of the direction how to make this project fruitful is going to work you are starting a new beginning number ones i also want to pull another card from a very interesting deck that i have i want to see something another message for you number one I want to see a message for you.
you have the sun card so everything is understood everything is right you know what if you're feeling down in your life if you feel depressed if you feel that something is not working you need to look at the Sun Sun have a lot of energy Sun also helps with vision if you have problems with your eyes it is very good to look at fire or the Sun not too much of course but a little bit is very good bring sunshine into your life look at the bright side open your windows in your home literally activate your soul activate your happiness don't fall into some uh, depression I don't know why I need to say depression Be I, I guess it's because of this card because this is a heavy card of things that you worked on and you don't see the light in, at the end of the tunnel but the light is here so the light is here everything is understood to you number one this person is telling to you that she's having your back in times of crisis do not worry no matter what is happening in your life everything is well a new beginning is happening in your life especially new financial beginning new opportunities are happening in your life tangible physical practical opportunities that will bring you abundance and money so i think this is a very beautiful message for you i don't want to dig more let's keep it this way and thank you for watching number one and see you in my next videos hi there number two and this is the message for you let's see what is the message for you from the dead let's see if someone will arrive into this reading or not let's see the message for you number two Wow, number two, this is fascinating. So here we have the King of Pentacles. It is someone that is came into this reading. It, is, it can be a deceased person. It's a male. It is someone who might knew you or maybe is some old ancestral spirit it also can be someone from past lives that you knew and this energy is coming right now i don't know why i have the need to say it but maybe it is how it is so very interesting look number two so we have here the magician card maybe you are dwelling in magic in witchcraft in the esoteric field but it does not have to be this way but there is some magical energy here this person came into this reading with good intentions he's giving you some good feeling and he's trying to also lift you up somehow maybe you have some family situation that uh, is giving you some trouble in case that is in case that this is happening in your life this person is telling to you that not everything is so dark as you think just accept different opportunities that you have look at other chances at other opportunities look at other sides at other perspectives and you can change the situation in case that you want that this situation will be changed it seems like maybe you're bored with your family life with routine something like that um coughing a lot right now um but i'm probably i'm cutting this in the video because i don't want to you know do those sounds of coughing but what is happening please write in the comments maybe this person is passed away because he had some problem with the lungs or something like that 
or he used to cough a lot now let's see what this person wants to tell you what this person wants to tell you what is the message that this person wants to tell you so we have here very beautiful cards so we have here the star the magician and the three of swords and also the nine of wands very interesting so this person wants to tell you that if you're dwelling in magic if you're dwelling in witchcraft in the esoteric world if you're a magician this person is actually helping you there is help from higher powers there is help from spirits there, there, this person is helping you with magic even and this person is trying to tell you that it's he's always protecting you when it is when you feel bad when there is sorrow in your life he's there protecting you and again card of protection so this is someone who is protecting you number two this person wanted to tell you that he is here he's helping you he's protecting you if you're dwelling in mysticism this person is watching you and he's always trying to help you and it's like you do not see the help you're not always aware of the help of the assistance and maybe try to broaden your horizons or to look beyond what you're already regular to look at look beyond the mundane look for some signs this person helped you a lot in magic even if it's not as i said even if it's not your ancestor in terms of family bloodline because it, it does not have to be this way maybe he is maybe he isn't maybe it is someone who you used to know at the past or maybe it is someone from past lives so this is very interesting maybe you had some romantic relationship in past life and now this person is still his energy is still protecting you somehow like i feel there is a connection between you i want to pull another card for you number two let's see message for number two let's see what the cards will say so we have here eyes yes you see again a man you are not um you just do not see him you do not aware you are not aware of him i mean when he is trying to tell you some signs some omens it seems like you do not see him but he's always there number two he's always there so please be aware if you will be aware of this person if you will pay attention you can actually receive a lot of blessings and signs especially if you're dwelling in mysticism because if you clicked on number two there is something going on you're dwelling in mysticism you did not click on this just because so here is this man he's here and it's like you're frozen you do not see you're cold with him somehow why are you cold with him number two why are you cold with this person let's see what do you need to do number two what do you need to do So you can maybe do some past life uh, meditations just be you know just acknowledge of that spirit of that person of that deceased person just you know just talk to him just say something nice say that okay I know that you are here around me I acknowledge that it's like invite him into your life number two he wants to come into your life this is amazing again he's like a protector to you also 
I feel that maybe you're very creative. Maybe you can write something. Maybe you journal a lot. Maybe you can write a book. Maybe he can help you with that. He wants you to. He wants that you will invite him into your life because you are in this ice, icy situation. It's like you're not approachable. Do not get near me. Maybe you're afraid of that. Although there is a lot of magic here. So number two, that was a message for you. This is very fascinating. Don't be afraid. It's just the message that you receive. There is some person. It's probably someone who you had romantic relationship with maybe in past lives or in case that it was your ex-husband it also can happen but don't don't ignore this person like he's there to help you and protect you so thank you for watching number two please write in the comments what is happening this is fascinating is it resonating with you do you receive some signs that someone is maybe watching you or protecting you somehow and also there is this a lot of magical world a lot of magical um, involvement and fascination with magic so anyways thank you for watching number two see you in my next videos hi there number three and this is the message for you so let's see who came to this reading whether this is a male, a female, a deceased loved one, or just a spirit that you know. Queen of Wands. It's a female. Let's see. Who came into this reading? So number three, you're a witch, <laughs> you are someone who is dwelling in mysticism, you are a very knowledgeable person, number three. The one who came for you, she's a woman, she can be someone from your family line, she can be someone who is very assertive very dominant she's controlling it can be a grandmother a mother but i don't i don't see that this is a grandmother a mother no because this is a queen of wands this is just some female in your ancestry line she's coming from the past very interesting number three there is this opposition it seems like she she left a long time ago Let's see what she wants to tell you. What this woman wants to tell you, number three. You know, it's like, it's like she's, it's also a card of the underworld. It's difficult for her to actually come into this uh, reading or into this world. There is opposition. It's not easy for her. Wow, look what, she's, look what she wants to tell you. This is unbelievable. Nine of Cups, Strength, Three of Cups. Power, Fulfillment. Your wishes are coming true. She is strength. You are strength. Celebrate life. Enjoy life. Number three. This woman is someone who is very stern. She's, she's stern. Her situation is not easy. It's not simple. It can be a very, very old woman from a very past ancestry. And you know, she's trying to tell you that maybe she's leaving for her next re reincarnation or her next energy and it's like she's not here with you you know uh, protecting you every step and guiding you and helping you no she's telling you that she needs to move forward she cannot be here anymore she needs to go 
she needs to go to the underworld. She needs to go to the next stage of her existence. But the message for you is very, very straightforward. Your wishes are going to come true. You are safe. You are strong. And if this card came out, it means that you maybe have some doubts in yourself. You think that you're not strong enough somehow. And she's telling to you, no, you are extremely powerful. You're protected. It's like you're protected by the goddess. This is a goddess energy because of this card. So this woman wants to tell you that you are protected by higher powers. You're protected by the goddess. You are not this little fragile girl anymore. There is this huge power behind you. A huge power. You have you you are not even aware of the power that you have. And she's telling to you celebrate life. Maybe you're too stuck up. Number 3. She's telling to you to accept abundance in your life. Accept your strength. Accept your power. Celebrate life to the fullest. This is what she's saying. I want to pull another card for you, number three. I want to pull another card for you. Okay, two cards came. So, wow, we have death and sun. This is new beginning. It's reincarnation. Maybe you're working with the dead as well. It's like everything is understood to you. Everything is known to you. You're connected with the dead somehow, number three. Because you came as the high priestess. Magic is definitely in your life. Maybe you're not aware that you are a witch. Or you're not, or you're not aware of your magical capabilities. Although I doubt that. You, you already know. Maybe you're at the beginning stages. And you feel something weird and it's like this energy and this person, this woman is telling to you, stop prognestinating. You are some magician basically. Wow, death and sun. You can see other worlds. You have visions. You can tap into other energies. You can speak with the dead. If you're not doing this, it means if you are not doing that, it means that you can do that. Ancestral work is very good for you, number three. A window, another card. You need to shine to the world. Show your opportunities. Show yourself. This is what this energy is telling you. This energy cannot stay here for a long time. This energy needs to go. So we thank that energy. Please like this video for energetic exchange. We are thanking your ancestors as well. So you need to shine, number three. This is what you need to do. You need to take your talents, your gifts, show to the world. Show them. You are also very beautiful physically. So. Thank you so much for watching number three. I will leave this in that. And see you in my next video. And I wish you a lot of good luck. And we're thanking your ancestors and the dead for this reading. Goodbye.